So what are we going to do? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip a drive out of the NAS. I can't stress this enough. Never, ever, 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 ever do this at home. <laughs> Hello and welcome back and I'm going to cover a subject today on a video that I did a long time ago however I wanted to do an updated version in line with Synology's new DSM namely what exactly happens if one of your drives fails in a raid we talk about raids so much on this channel and although I still stress heavily that raid is not a backup tool it is still a fantastic tool to act as a safety net for you and your storage so what I'm going to do today is simulate a broken drive show you exactly what happens to the Synology NAS and moreover what you can do about it so for this test we've already got a Synology NAS the DS1019 plus and we've already filled it with a bunch of data only about 17 gig but still lots of data on top of that We've set up a mapped network drive of one of the folders. And again, there's our mapped network drive on our Windows machine. Over here, we've got, if we open it up, uh, the file station application. And this app will let us see the files and folders on our Synology NAS. You'll have to forgive me any delays, but that's just the capture recording software that we're using today. I really should move on to an external capture device. I probably will soon. Um, but as we can see here, the multimedia area there, this is the multimedia folder on that Synology NAS, and that's the multimedia folder. So as you can see, there's a mapped Windows drive and the drive on our Synology NAS. So again, let's access a file on here as we would. Let's go for uh, a TV show. We've got some episode to stuff on here. Let's go for a classic. Let's look at Mr. Bean. You're not going to be able to hear it. Let's let VLC play that file. And again, it's probably going to perform terribly because of the capture recording software that we're using. But there we are, I'm using VLC on a local machine to play a file on the NAS. Also on top of this NAS, we have three 14TB drives and a RAID 5 uh, uh, configuration. Let's go for the volume. And again, it's verifying the hard disk in the background with BTRFS, by BTRFS. But we're going to let that carry on even though it hasn't fully completed what it's doing there for the verification of those disks in the background. The parity consistency check, something that's done relatively frequently. So, what we're going to do, we're not even going to let that finish. We're going to use these drives inside here. And again, we've got the 4TB WD drives, three of them in a RAID 5 environment. So we've got 7TB of storage. And we can see here on the right, the system resources as we go. So what are we going to do? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip a drive out of the NAS. I can't stress this enough. Never, ever, 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 ever do this at home. But what we're going to do is simulate that one of the drives has died to see how the NAS reacts. So we're going to pull bay number three drive out of there. And we're probably going to see all kinds of activity. So let's go. So one of the drives has been removed. Let's see what happens. Still on our Synology NAS here. Still got. The NAS has already started beeping. The NAS has noticed the drive is missing. It's also mentioned that the drive has crashed and now been removed from that array. And the RAID has entered degraded mode. Now in degraded mode, what happens is the system will have decreased performance, but the data should still be accessible. And that is thanks to the parity of that RAID, that tiny little blueprint that's being handed between drives, which means that even though we've lost one drive, we can still access all of that data. Now, don't get me wrong, the speed levels will be reduced. Read and write speeds in this will be reduced. Let's disable that beep because it's gonna get super annoying. So if we go into the control panel, go to notifications and alerts, Have a look, wait for this to open. Go into notifications, it may even have been in hardware there. Let's carry on, we're getting there. Beep control, turn that beep off. And that should disable the beeping there in the background. We'll click apply. But for now, so in this scenario, one of our drives has died. We've still got access to the data on the NAS, and now we're going to see 
if we're still able to play that same file on the network drive from earlier. So it was in TV, and it was Mr. Bean. So we'll play that with VLC. And now, of course, our read and write has depreciated a little, but it's still playing on this NAS, even though we've lost one hard drive. Now, if we lost another hard drive, that would be a different story. One more hard drive would result in the system just not being able to get that data and make, and make it safe for us. So what we're going to do now is we're going to install this drive back in the system. Now, whether you install the same drive or you install a new drive, a repair drive, maybe you keep a clone of a disk in the background, it's worth mentioning that the system will still treat it like a brand new drive and rebuild the array. So right now, in a second, it's noticed this new drive, which it has not initialized. It will treat this disk like a brand new disk. So we go back to the degraded storage pool. And from here, we can repair our RAID. Nice and straightforward. Nice, user-friendly, easy language that keeps us going. We click Next. And now it will repair the RAID which won't be instantaneous, it will take a little bit of time, but still nevertheless, that is what happens when you lose a drive in your RAID array. You install a new disk, and again, I know I'm using the same disk as before, but the NAS is going to treat this disk like a brand new disk. So what will happen now is it will take that new disk that it's found, or we've introduced into the array, and it will start rebuilding our RAID and thereby repairing and ensuring that we've got our safety net in place. And there you go, that is what happens when a drive fails on a Synology NAS. Thank you so much for watching. There'll be loads of tests like this coming up soon. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Click like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.